FIA want a dirty language intervention to stop F1 drivers becoming like the rappers. The FIA has requested that Formula One management, FOM, reduce the amount of dirtier language broadcast during F1 television coverage, a perception of an increasing frequency of foul language has raised concerns for Formula One's governing body, the FIA, Mohammed Ben Sulaim. Motorsport must differentiate from rap music. Speaking in an exclusive interview with Motorsport.com, FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulaim explained that steps are being taken to alter the tone of content air to fans. He pointed out that F1 drivers have a responsibility to control their language and confirmed that a request has been made to FOM. F1's commercial rights holder, to limit the transmission of inappropriate communication, I mean, we have to differentiate between our sport, motorsport, and rap music, Ben Sulaim said, we're not rappers, you know. They say the F word how many times per minute? We are not on that. That's them and we are us. Ben Sulaim, a former 14-time Middle East rally champion, acknowledged the frustrations drivers may experience but stressed the importance of maintaining standards. He emphasized that, while it's understandable for drivers to become upset in the heat of the moment, they must be mindful of their conduct, especially given the live nature of broadcasts and the increasing availability of recorded content. Particularly when it comes to the impact this may have on younger viewers, I know, I was a driver, he said, in the heat of the moment, when you think you are upset because another driver came to you and pushed you, when I used to drive in the dust, and something like that happened, I would get upset. But also, we have to be careful with our conduct. We need to be responsible people. And now with the technology, everything is going live and everything is going to be recorded. At the end of the day, we have to study that to see, do we minimize what is being said publicly, because imagine you are sitting with your children and watching the race and then someone is saying all of this dirty language. I mean, what would your children or grandchildren say? What would you teach them if that is your sport? When asked if the FIA could mandate FOM to cut down on the airing of team radio messages containing explicit language, Ben Sulaim confirmed that steps in this direction are already underway, we can and we are, Ben Sulaim replied. We are the ones who actually approved more, radio, talk, on the TV broadcast. But we have rules, and the rules are there for the benefit of the sport and the rules are there to be policed and to be respected also. The topic of driver cursing over team radio was brought up at a recent F1 commission meeting in July, where F1 CEO Stefano Domenicali reminded the teams of their responsibility to indicate to their drivers to use team radio in a fashion that bears the wider audience in mind, over the F1 summer break. Ben Sulaim posted on his own Instagram account to highlight a recent change to the FIA's International Sporting Code to redefine the use of the word, misconductors. as part of our ongoing fight. Against online abuse, recent investigations have shown that there is a direct link between negative comments from drivers and team members and increased hate directed towards officials on social media. The statement read, at the last World Motor Sport Council, WMSC, members approved a change to the definition of misconduct within the ISC following incidents in which high-profile members of our sport have made statements towards officials that incite abuse. This is part of a broader effort to modernize the ISC. For example, in late 2022, a new article was added that restricted political, religious, and personal statements during competitions unless pre-approved by the FIA or relevant authorities. Elaborating on this change, Ben Sulaim commented, the rules are not there only to stay the same for 30 years. You have to improve, to change, to remove, and to add a lot of things. And I don't do this. We have committees that study it, I didn't write it, this had to do with the ethics and neutrality of speech. But did you know we had it from 1972? Nobody knew. From 72, you cannot go to a country and abuse a country. Because they pay all of this money. If you don't like it, there, don't go. If you take a license from the FIA, 
you have to respect the source that is giving you the license, we are happy with the drivers, Ben Suleim emphasized, go and have fun. Do what you do best and race. And we are happy with the promoter. Go and make money. And more money. But also, we have to respect the sport. I bring the spirit of the sport, I try with my background and 40 years of experience to bring also ethics to it, and to bring balance and fairness and clearness. And that is a very, very hard responsibility. But, it's doable. Are we five years old? Max Feshtarpen snaps back after, watch our language a warning, Max Feshtarpen branding his RB20F KED in the press conference led host Tom Clarkson to remind the F1 world champion to watch his language. Feshtarpen had a subdued race in Azerbaijan last weekend, with the reigning world champion revealing he knew the car was F KED right from the start of Q1, Max Feshtarpen, I knew I was stuck with it. Red Bull's RB20 appeared a more competitive beast in Baku, with Sergio Perez fighting in the top group as a contender for victory as the Mexican put in his strongest performance since the Chinese Grand Prix. But Fechtarpen was much further back, unable to exploit the same performance potential in the Red Bull after trying out a setup gamble after the third practice, which backfired on him, adjusting the car ahead of Q1 in a direction he believed would help. The changes inadvertently made the car worse, dooming him to a difficult weekend from there on out. Due to park firm conditions coming into effect at the start of Q1, I don't know, man. Different setup, he told media in Singapore when. Asked about why Perez had had the upper hand on him all weekend, so, as soon as I went into qualifying, I knew the car was F KED. Following a pregnant pause after this sentence, Feshtarpen continued, I tried to optimize the car all the time. And this time it didn't work out so I knew that I was stuck with it, and then you try to optimize it. But yeah, also, my run one in Q3, that would have been enough for P3 in qualifying, hurt me. Then you start in the back of the top group, the balance was, of course, not there in the race, then you get stuck behind two cars in the middle of the race, so you kill your tires, so you know, Basically everything just went wrong from qualifying because the rules, of course, don't allow you to change anything on the car. You're stuck with it, and that's what happened. Fedstarpen's choice of language resulted in press conference host Tom Clarkson sternly reminding the Red Bull driver to watch his language going forward before moving on. Max Fedstarpen, the F-word isn't even that bad, right? Dot, Feshtarpen is well known for not holding back in his choice of language, particularly over team radio when in the heat of battle on track, and has previously said that the choice is there to not broadcast him if the commercial rights holder isn't happy about his vocabulary. Recently, FIA President Mohammed Ben Suleim made a request of the teams at an F1 commission meeting to remind their drivers to watch their language, and, in an interview with Motorsport.com in the build-up to the Singapore weekend, reiterated that desire, I mean, we have to differentiate between our sport, motorsport, and rap music, Ben Suleim said, we're not rappers, you know. They say the F-word how many times per minute? We are not on that. That's them and we are, us. Asked if the FIA could require FOM to limit the usage of team radio containing foul language in the TV broadcast, Ben Suleim revealed this was already happening, we can and we are, Ben Suleim replied. We are the ones who actually approved more, radio, talk, on the TV broadcast. But we have rules, and the rules are there for the benefit of the sport and the rules are there to be policed and to be respected also. Asked for his thoughts on whether swearing needs policing, or whether people are just being too sensitive, Feshtarpen didn't hold back in his response, I think you will swear anyway, if it's not in this room, maybe somewhere else. Everyone swears, he said, some people a bit more than others. It also depends a bit on what language you speak, of course, abuse is something else. But, yeah, I think a lot of things get broadcast nowadays where, in other sports. You don't run around with a MIC attached to you, I think a lot of people say a lot of bad things when they are full of adrenaline in other sports, it just doesn't get picked up. 
We're here, probably for also entertainment purposes, things get sent out, and that's why people can pick up on it, discuss it on social media, and you get all sorts of trouble, so I think it already just starts with not broadcasting it. I mean, if you don't broadcast it, no one will know, only the team, but with that you can deal internally with these kind of things. But, yeah, it's just probably a bit the world that we live in within the sport but also, in general, it seems like people are a bit more sensitive to stuff. Yeah, that's how it goes, I mean, I guess the world is changing a bit, but I think it already just starts with not broadcasting it, or not giving the option for people to, to hear it in general, of course. There are a lot of apps where people can listen to radios and stuff, you have to probably limit this, or have a bit of a delay that you can censor out a few things, that will help a lot more than putting bans on drivers. Referring back to his earlier use of the F-word, with Clarkson having intervened to address him using that word. Feshtarpen Riley smiled, for example, I couldn't even say the F-word, he said, I mean, it's not even that bad, right? I mean, the car was not working. The car is theft, yeah, and then excuse me for the language. But come on, like, what are we, five-year-olds, six-year-olds? Even if a five-year-old or six-year-old is watching, I mean, they will eventually swear anyway, even if the parents will not allow it, when they grow up, they will walk around with their friends and they will be swearing. So, you know, this is not changing anything. 